from birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble, when the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds. All father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Of all creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok. The evil god, Loki. Found deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst. Younger than any ever so honored, he is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven today that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. Ragnar, son of Jarl, kneel here before the runestone of Odin and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death defend this holy shrine of the All-Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade. Ragnar, how are you, boy? Ah, I forgot myself. A warrior and a man now, aren't you? Congratulations, warrior. If you see any rope on your... You're down. Master doesn't share the village's high opinion, boy. He awaits to test your skills in the Longhouse. You may have bested me in single combat, but we will cross swords again one day, and then we'll see if your skills are all the elders think they are.
Wagner. After the many hours you've trained to be, one might think you would know better than to keep me waiting. You're a good boy, but don't think I can't cut a stripling down to size. You may have bested Sigurd and been named the Odin's Blade, but the ceremony at the Runestone is nothing but words. Tradition says that before you truly become a man, you must face the most skilled warrior in the village. You must face me. This is the true trial. Defeat me in combat, and your place among us as a warrior is assured. Defend yourself. Well hit, boy. <laughs> yes. Perhaps you need more. Come on, boy. Well, well. Where did you learn that? have been a staunch ally for many generations, my son. And their runestone stands as a proud beacon for longships coming in from sea. Conrak must truly be foolish to besiege their hall. Odin himself will reach down from Asgard and smite the betrayer for his impudence. We fought side by side in many battles. Never would I have guessed that a Viking warrior could so betray every belief we served. No longer will I be but a servant, old man. Not to you, not the village, not to Odin himself. Kaparud lies in ruins, and I have a mere handful of rune stones to destroy before all of Midgard will call me master. And how is it that you come to stand by the betrayer's side, Sigurd? Whisking a man across the sea faster than the falcon flies is well within the powers of my new master. Why guard a rock when I can stand at the front of an army set to rule the world? I have forty men within an axe throw of your hearts. Prepare to visit hell. I need but one to kill you, myself.
Ragnar. Awaken, warrior. The time for your death is not yet at hand.